Hello! Wow, my room looks so bright like this. It's because of the puzzle things. Everything's set up. I can do it now. Oh. Oh. That's my regular room. <laughs> Everything is set up. Everything is ready. So, why am I nervous about this? I guess because we're doing something else. I'm so impressed as well with my computer. There's this camera, there's the cat cam camera, there's the new puzzle face cam, there's the puzzle deal, the puzzle Sony camera. I hooked up to this one computer and it's doing it all effortlessly. Shows you how old I am. Too many devices is too much data for the USB and it can't handle it. That's an issue of the past. <laughs> BB's doing so well as well. That highest peak is 15. So ideally, you want to keep them under 15 as much as you can. Hey, did we finally crack the coat? Is it pork? Look at this beautiful panther outfit. Hey, baby. Oh, he loves it. Does he love his sweater? No, not really. He's on like, this is like a full outfit. He goes around his tail. Because um, he was getting too good at taking his little sweaters off. So should we try? Should we try and make the switch? Hi. Welcome to the other side of the room. <laughs> you want me on the table? Let me um, put up the Twitch chat. That's so weird. Oh, Phoebe jumped off the table. This is so weird. I like don't know where to look now. <laughs> puzzle is cool. I know this is, isn't this such a me puzzle? <laughs> He's got his vans on. He's a scaly man. Um, Oh yeah, so this puzzle board, this brand, is a Brighton-based brand. Supporting the independent local artists in and around Brighton and Hove. So that's awesome. Uh, so if you want some custom art puzzles, puzzle board's the place to be. They even have some, um, some VR, or not VR, AR puzzles. Where like, if you finish them, they come to life with an app. Awesome! Oh, ooh, sorry, Mike. Ugh, I hate this. I hate this dust. I should maybe buy a little hand vacuum. <laughs> How many pieces? This is just 500. Probably put edge pieces together to think about how to space it all. Probably put gray together. We can probably put his jacket and his pants separate. Although, can't be that many pieces. This must be his scythe. Put the purple ones that have nothing on it somewhere else. Those are for last. Okay. So I got this like ball thing because it's supposed to help my posture. It'll take some getting used to, but it would be good because oh, I can already feel my back. Um, I can't sit on this very long because my back is so weak. Oh yeah. Um, I actually have been doing quite well because, you know, I've been having my headaches, but I, I worked out yesterday and I didn't get a migraine. It's a very mild workout. It's not like I'm doing much, but it's like just enough to like really activate my back muscles and my shoulders to hopefully not become as stiff. Yeah, I'll just put all of those together. doesn't matter. Ugh, I fucking love puzzling. Do you guys love puzzling? What kind of puzzles do you normally do? I really like um, like the hidden object ones. It's not it's not actually hidden object, but um, they have like these just really like cluttered ones. Ravensburger has those, and they're all just like. Um, like a garage sale is the one that I'm excited to do. Um, where it's just like a dog in front of a car filled with shit. <laughs> I love that kind of stuff. Wait, those go together. They don't go together? Oh, I was convinced they would be together. It was not meant to be. Um, I finished uh, Oathbreaker. Brandon Sanderson finished him last night. So I'm in the fourth book now. And it was pretty awesome. I do say this was my least favorite book of the three that I've read so far. 
Um, it took really long to like get anywhere and then at like 90% of the book. So basically at the very end, I finally was like, holy shit, that was awesome. So it took very long to get any kind of payoff. But only the fourth left and then the fifth one's coming out in December, so... Can't wait for book five. Exciting. Yeah, I wonder what I'll... I definitely, in my mind, I'm already like, okay, I'll read everything Brandon Sanderson's ever written. Ah! Wait, how... Oh! Nice. Okay. But I do know that he... He writes so much. He writes, like, at least one book a year, it feels like. And they're so big, too. So I'm like, I would like to read everything, but... Uh, I don't know if I can keep up. <laughs> For now, I'm reading um, the new zombie fungus one. And then after that, I want to read... Uh, fuck, what was it? The new Barnes one. Oh, Hutch! Oh, yeah. Signature is on the bottom right. Haha, <laughs> this is a sneaker. The the pile with nothing on it is getting bigger and bigger. This is concerning. I keep wanting to cross my legs, but on a ball like this, <laughs> you really can't do that. I keep being like, oh. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I always get back pain when I puzzle. Because I'm like so like hunched over the puzzle. Um, so I was like, if I really want to puzzle on stream and puzzle more, I need to find like some good solution. And then my osteopath was like, you need one of those balls to sit on because it'll activate your core and your pelvic muscles. I'd love to do this puzzle. Buy it! It's 50% off right now. Because the company isn't doing well, so they're doing like a flash sale to hopefully raise a bit more money. So... If you can help them out. They also have a cafe in Brighton, by the way, if you're ever in Brighton. But yeah, can I? Oh, can't cross my legs. Embrace the bounce. How do you guys puzzle? Because I always like to make... Like, as I go through it, I like to sort certain things. So, like, everything with a little bit goes here for now. And then after, once I've gone through everything once, I'll sort again. And then start making the middle of the puzzle. But I was very surprised when I was at the at the puzzle competition and I was watching the fastest people in the country puzzle. Uh, I was shocked to see that they don't sort anything. They didn't make any groups like I do. Because my sister and I were like, okay, purple here, pink here, blue sky, everything in a, like a little heap. Um, and then once we go through it, then we start making little sections at a time. But the, the really fast puzzlers, all they did was just turn everything around and then just have all the pieces like that. And then they just start picking out certain things they need. We thought we were fast and it took us two hours to do a thousand piece puzzle together. And it took them one hour. So they were twice as fast as we were. I mean, right now I'm obviously not rushing. I'm just, I'm just puzzling. <laughs> I see, I'm like looking there already with the cams right there. Hi. Oh, by the way, if you're really into puzzling, um, I I found a Facebook group that's just like Brighton Puzzles or something. Um, and they do like a monthly gathering where they exchange puzzles. So I brought two puzzles that I'd done and gave them away and then got other puzzles in return. So that was really nice. I was so nervous because I, I hate meeting new people because you have no idea who... Like, oh god, don't you just hate coming to a place where you don't know anyone and then you're just like, um, I'm here for this event thing, where do I go? But in the end, it was really, it was really fun and everyone, like, if you have a shared interest like that, like, I didn't know anyone, but we immediately started talking about, like, competitions and strategies and how other people do it, what everyone's times were, not that every, people were slow. Like, one guy was like, I do a 500-piece puzzle in, like, two hours. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's kind of slow. But it was really nice to go and meet new people. Okay, these we're gonna forget about for a bit. Oh my god, there's so much dust. I hate it. Oh, my back. This will be good. We do these streams a couple times and I'll just have, like, a fucking 
muscular bag and they'll be like, how'd you get so strong? It'll be like, puzzling. Okay, corner. This is gonna be pretty tricky. There's not a lot on it. There's a couple pieces. These pieces are all very similar. My sister always just likes trying a lot of pieces, but I always just like look at it and I'm like, okay, this is a unique shape. I can probably find where this one fits. Although, oh my god, a lot of these have similar shapes. Oi! I was like, this is only going to be a 500 piece puzzle. This is going to be easy. Yeah. What? There's only one of those? The fuck? Oh, two. Why would there be two different ones and then the rest is all the same? Well, where do I start? Uh, wow. This looks, looks like a match. But... But you can see that the top is slightly, slightly taller. It's not like flush, and I think they need to be flush. Yeah, these are completely flush. There's no opening, so we need to do better. Although, oh shit. This one has a tiny, these for sure match. they don't actually are flush. Maybe I should just leave it. Maybe it's like one of those things where I should just put as many as I can together and then after a while when stuff doesn't fit you kind of start changing them out. This one. No. Oh god, should I really just go one by one? That might be the quicker way. Oh god. Yes. Definitely. 100% fit. 100%. We got one! <laughs> oh man. Putting these together. Maybe I should do the center first because these don't feel like they fit and it's 100% a fit. Maybe I need to get a feel for this puzzle more. For how the pieces fit. Let's get out of here. Okay. This should be easier. I honestly am so happy we're doing this. The, the fact that I'm streaming puzzling, dream come true. Um, okay, let's see. I would say, I was thinking like, what is something I would really love to achieve? What would be my goal for this if I make it into like a channel? like thinking how it would be great if I could meet up with Karen Puzzles. That would be awesome. I think that would be my goal, to do like a collab with her. Um, my sister was saying that I could also have people over as like a podcast thing and have them do a puzzle with me while we talk about certain things. And I was thinking like, yeah, that would be cool, but that also makes it a little more tricky. Um, hmm. That's a big skateboard. This feels like it's way too big. <laughs> Why does this feel like a limo skateboard? <laughs> I'll probably make his pants. Because the green stands out. Start with that. My posture is so good right now. Fucking balling it up. Yes, 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 yes. That is not. That is not correct. Legs. Hey. Oh, that looks wrong. Okay. This looks like pants. Oh, it's his wrist. His other hand. Oh, chain. Oh, signature. 
Um, where did I? Oh, here. Oh, it's just the corner. I'll put them together. Whenever I puzzle, I apparently have really big reactions. Um, whenever I've, I've had that with my mom and my sister, I'll be like, just puzzling in silence, and then suddenly I'm like, oh! <laughs> like I finally found a certain piece, and then I just scared the shit out of them. <laughs> No. Yeah? Yeah! Okay. So that's the scythe. And then it goes off to the scythe. <laughs> nice. Awesome. There you have it, ladies and gents. Um, let's bring it back. Let's look at the image. This has to be a shoe entrance. Yeah. Shoe entrance. What do you call it actually in English? Just the, the shoe opening? <laughs> the shoe hole. <laughs> Little hand sticking out. We had an edge piece. Yeah. It had fingies on it. Okay. Probably time for the coat next. I can probably find more skateboard pieces as well. Maybe make the coat edge. Yeah, there's only the bottom of his... I was gonna say cape, but... What is Death's mantle? Only the bottom of his mantle is like black. So... Has to be one... This piece has to be here somewhere. I don't know about that, but I think... Oh, that looks so wrong, though. No, that's not it. No, 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 no. No, I refuse. Oh. Because it goes there. It's all gray. It's all gray, isn't it? Oh, yeah, and the, the skateboard has a shadow. Press it up. Oh, that... Yeah, that must be it. That looks wrong, but... It fits, so don't question it. Oh! Signature! Oh! I found the edge piece! That I was looking for. Oh, here. There it is. The signature. Now be gone. I don't need you until much later. Okay. Come closer! Maybe I should do the edge of the jacket first. Yeah, thank you. And then that one. No! Oh my god. Sure, these black lines should be really straightforward too. Why am I not seeing it? Yeah, I have these that have like a tiny bit of purple. Or maybe one of these fits here. Yeah. Oh, it's quite a big coat. I was like, I wonder if I can connect it yet, but it's like... Lines quiet bit and then lines so this should be probably like two pieces in between i swear i normally don't struggle this really fucks me up <clears throat> the fact that these pieces don't like like the corners don't match i can't i can't deal because in my head i'm looking for like a slim piece but then this is way wider there's also this bit what is this Top? I thought I had that one already. Oh yeah, I thought that was this bit. Oh, they go together. I love how I was like, let's do 500 pieces to start, because that'll be easy. And here I'm like, now I feel like I'm being slow. But I guess I shouldn't feel rushed. There's no deadline. Six makes me want to do puzzles. Yeah. <laughs> you might be able to connect the arm. I was wondering that, but it seems like that would be too close. Oh no, you're right. I thought there was like... I thought there was more distance than that, but... Really good. Maybe this goes there. And 
that is the hood. Oh, wait, I shouldn't. Oh! Yeah! He has become one! There, now you can kind of see him in all his glory. End of cape is under the scythe, this bit. Oh, yeah, this should be. Oh! Hey! Cool, cool, cool. Maybe this one? Yeah. Oh ho ho! He's coming together! Okay, that's the arm done. Now, it should just be this here. That should be an easy one. Lots of lines. Right? Huh? Oh, there's a bit of white in this one. Or edge, actually. Purple. So satisfying when pieces just like fit perfectly. And you're just like, yes. Who knows what's in this pile? Ah, oh, there we go. Found it. It was in the pile. Am I going along? Oh, no, that's not it. Maybe this? Yeah. Oh, I did it again. My signature double tap. He's an ugly and best. It's so nice. And you just put a piece in and then go, that's it. I feel smart. That's it for lines. Oh, here's one. What about this one, though? Shouldn't it have lines? Ah, there we go. Hmm. There's not many with that shape left. It's only these. These are way too big. Huh? Oh, haha! <laughs> There you are. Okay. This is a big one. Big boy. Oh, there's one shadow here. Okay. Oh, I see it. I see the start of it. She's beginning to believe! Wait, oh, there's three. I was like, I need way more pieces. There you go. And he is done. There you go. A big lad. Oh, my back. So there's, there's an edge here and an edge here. So it really doesn't look like it should be that many pieces. And then the skateboard, maybe this could be the edge or one more line. Oh, this is a unique shape though. How should I, how should I go about this? And whatever, wherever this is gonna go, who knows? Piece with the skateboard shadow, yeah. There should be one piece in this pile, yeah. You know what would be fun as well? If um, for Christmas, we always do a Christmas hog, right? I always do a Christmas puzzle as well. So we can do a Christmas puzzle um, during that time as well. This white at the bottom right pile. Oh shit. We also need a little edge of a shoelace here and here still. Top by the hood? Yeah, I tried that. Oh, it's not even the right shape. Oh, maybe here? No. Ah! Yeah, there. See, that's that's what's, what's scary. Oh, this is maybe what you meant. The white. Oh, hey. Um, that's how I scare my mom. <laughs> I'll go like, ah! <laughs> I 
got it! Yeah, what should I do? I wonder if it's... Like, how do you even go about something like this? It's all an even color. Yeah, honestly, I might just, um... Oh, maybe I should grab a puzzle board. And then just organize them all by shape. I'll just do the same thing as before. Outies and ins. Oh, the shadow piece. Huh. It was just lying there. How'd that happen? What are the odds? Yeah, this is my... Uh, the brand is Jumbo. Jumbo. They have like a... A puzzle case that you can use. And there's these two... These things in it. And they're really nice because they're like anti-slip. So you can just whoop, do that. And the ones that you lay flat at least. Oh god, where'd it go? Should we just go one by one, honestly? It's probably quicker than trying to search for a particular shape. Riveting gameplay. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's it. Yeah. No, that totally fits. Okay. So, we've slowly eliminated... Oh yeah, pants edge? Oh, this will have a tiny bit of line. Is that what you're talking about? Ooh, that will be a tricky one, though. We should always be uh, also be able to work from these corner pieces, if we want to. And this one mystery piece, that's just the different shape than all the other ones. Do I always take apart my puzzles when I'm done? Yeah. I, t I usually leave them, if they if it was really hard, I leave them for a day or two to like look at it and be like, huh, I did that. Um, but usually I just break them down immediately. Um, and then if, if it's a piece where I'm like, I really like that one, I, I might make that again someday. I think this is a fit. Knowing now that the edges don't have to add up, I'm gonna just leave that. See if we get into trouble at some point. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, um... Then... Puzzles that I don't want anymore? Ooh. <laughs> um, but if I'm like, that was fun, but... Probably won't do it again. Then I can take them to a recycle store. If this is a straight line down here, it could. No, it doesn't fit. Nope. Nope. Am I touching pieces? Ooh. That was a really nice snap. That deserves a double tap. Definitely. Fit. Let's go! Progress! Ooh. Yeah. Most indubitably. I think a reason why. I'm so picky about whether it fits or not, is because I always used to correct my grandma's mistakes. She would always just like, she would get a little frustrated, she wouldn't admit it, but she would get a little frustrated and eventually just start jamming the pieces together, being like, that has to fit there, that can be wrong. So I would always have to, whenever I would puzzle at her place, oh. 100%. She did hard puzzles, like landscapes and stuff. If I wanted to correct a mistake, I had to be really sure by, you know, little tiny kid's eyes. Another reason I love hidden object stuff is every year for not kind of like Christmas, but Sinterklaas is like a Dutch Christmas celebration. Ooh, yes. Um, the Brabant, which is the southern province of the Netherlands where we live, they Brabant's Dagblad. 
so it's like the local southern newspaper they would show you like if it was this they would show you like a corner of this logo so they had like this whole grid with um tiny tiny screenshots tiny cropped screenshots of things and then you would have to find that in that issue of the newspaper which is basically hidden object yeah once a year in december that puzzle would come out and then we would all the whole family would get together and like we would all be sitting around the table looking at different pages like scanning different pages of the newspaper to try and find certain logos or images and they were so tricky like some of them were really hard and we just took us multiple days to do it but it was so fun and i think that's why i like searching for things it bothers me that this isn't a fit do you think the weird piece goes here <laughs> this should be closer to the edge, right? Like this logo is just under the shadow. So that would put it here. I think I just need to keep going and then eventually we'll run out of the pieces. <laughs> Ooh! Well, we have a candidate, that's for sure. White pieces. Woo! Okay, this is definitely... Okay, so something here isn't adding up. Shock. Oh! How? The weird one! Oh! Cool. Okay, the weird one is in. And it's right in the middle, isn't it? I think it's the middle of the puzzle. Uh, this is a near perfect fit. Just one tiny corner a bit. Are you fucking kidding me? Get out of here. Why are these pieces. Oh! Oh, this is a good one. What is up with this? Uh, these all kind of fit. That's crazy. How wide is this puzzle? We don't have an edge on the right. How close? Okay, so... The signature is just... A, a little further than the coat. There's probably two pieces here. I think this is one regular piece and then the edge I think unless they're really big pieces but don't like it when they're not cut good yeah I think what the puzzle is lacking is just a little bit of depth I think normally they make the puzzles uh, the pieces a little thicker and then it's more of a definite fit you know really cool. I know I can't really when you don't have a flat on the table, it's hard to show it off, but... Honestly, I think that I say honestly too much, but also, honestly, I think that a lot of these, we won't really know exactly whether they fit or not until we start putting in this second line. Because then they really... Then the imposters will come out. Ooh. Yeah, no, this doesn't... Nothing fits! My life is a lie! Okay, I'm just gonna do all of them. Ooh! That? That went in real nice. Yeah, this is it. This is the one. That's better. Okay. We're back in. I really chose a challenge for the first, first stream, huh? 
That's definitely good. It's so funny how some you're just like even... Like I'm checking it from all sides and I'm like, oh, I don't know, maybe. And then some other ones I'm like, yep, that's a fit for sure. Wait, so is that the corner then? Probably. <gasps> I mean, that's good enough for me. Yeah, that side doesn't fit. I think that's it. And we go again! I am so curious once we're gonna get to the... Ooh. And a ooh. Once we're gonna get to the... Closer to the end of the edges. I'm sure, I'm 100% I'm sure that it's not gonna match once I get to the end. And then we have to go along the edges to be like, which ones can we swap? <laughs> no way. <laughs> How? <laughs> I'm not convinced that's it, but it fits, so I'm just gonna leave it, okay? Ooh! Oh, yes, definitely. This one, not so much. This one, yes. I've never done this. I've never done a puzzle upside down like this. This is madness. But hey, they're kind of fitting, so I'm gonna take it. Maybe? How far am I? One piece? That is so not a fit. <laughs> I wish you could flip the whole pot. No, I can't. <laughs> Too risky. I was like, I wish I could flip the whole puzzle and check the bottom, but I could leave it like this and just start doing like these corner bits where it like, like I said, like this would be a good place to start because it has to fit multiple sides. So there's only one way that can fit and this as well, this edge. Start with those like corner bits and then eventually you start noticing like nothing fits there and then you have to change them out, you know? Okay, so little update. I organized these kind of by shape. They're a little messy now because I've been putting in some pieces. These all have a little square on one corner and then the little three heads pieces and then these are like the the basic beaches of the lot so i started putting in this opening here um and then started closing up some of these oh yeah i also did a couple here and then i realized this piece fit in only if i took this one out so this might have been a wrong one because this is such a perfect fit that i think this one was wrong so yeah i still just have a lot to do i have a little bit of difficulty putting those in so i'm just kind of leaving them open focusing on like the ones with the, either a square foot or like a little two feet Let's start eliminating those first and see what remains so here we go it's gonna take a while Okay, so this top part is most definitely correct. This is most definitely correct because otherwise none of these would fit together. So it's interesting that these don't fit. That means there has to be pieces somewhere else that are fitting right now, but not eventually. Nice. 
really go anywhere else. Oh. Huh. Maybe. Maybe this side. But then we need a different one there. Huh. Wait. Everything kind of fits. I guess I should leave the edges for later because that's where the mistakes are going to be. So I should probably work inside out so that there's process of elimination, you know. Um, back to this side. Lovely green eyes you have today. Yeah. Da 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 da. Ho 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 ho. Mm. Hi, baby. <laughs> Ooh, big stretch. Do you want to be on camera? He knows not to mess with the puzzle. Where was I? This one? Oh. I almost skipped that one. Oh! <gasps> Two back to back. BB, did you see that? That was so exciting. Ooh, that looks like it'll fit. Yes. Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Couldn't be one of these, right? Yeah, you can anyway. Oh <gasps> no! Hi, baby. Okay, I'm gonna take this one off for a sec, so, cause this one is definitely good, so then we're not influenced by that one. Let's see, which one fits everything? Could be, oh, that's it. No, it doesn't fit. Okay, so this is the mistake. This is a better option at least, so maybe this. Well, slowly changing things, but this is the most promising piece at least so far, so let's just do another row and see what happens. This is definitely right. Back to square one. So this one is an imposter. And no. So I currently have no no space for that. I have no pieces that fit there. Well, on to the next. At least I'm making good progress. Oh, yes! Awesome! <laughs> I knew it! Oh! That was a good round. Got a couple pieces in. Now, do you fit? Oh, thank god. Okay, so that one's correct. I guess I'll go back to these and just pick a couple of corners. So, I've been doing a little more puzzling off cam, 
You see, I only have a couple pieces left. I still haven't figured this out. This here had to go. This was wrong. Um, I fixed one of these. But this I haven't figured out yet. The rest is like getting there. Um, I replaced one here. But I think this is more wrong than I expect. These side pieces I still haven't been able to fit in. Um, I fixed all of these. These were all wrong. Surprisingly. Um, but I'm slowly like putting it in from here and then checking... Um, sometimes taking edge pieces out and trying to fit other, others in. So I'll fit, try and fill this first and then move my way up top, I think. But yeah, we're getting there. The end is near. So let's see. I'm taking these out for a bit just so I don't let them influence my choices here and then we'll see if we need to rearrange some of these this is wrong <gasps> shocker and a shocking turn of events a little group just a little group left one left mm -hmm. okay now let's see what kind of edge pieces I have oh that one fits nice okay yes so you really have to go in pairs for this puzzle you need like two points of reference okay so this one we don't have yet but a little bit of progress again. So this one was in there, but I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to leave this separate for a bit and see what fits. I'm going to bring the puzzle down a bit so I can look at it easier. Can't believe I'm so close to the end and it's still a struggle. There we go. It's definitely faster though. It took me so long. The first bits and pieces. So many options. God. This took me so much longer than I thought. I really underestimated 500 pieces. Mm, okay, systematic. One by one. I don't have a choice. And if none of these fit, I have a problem. Ah, there we go. Now for the tricky part, we're gonna disconnect this, start here, tiny piece, shouldn't be too hard to find. <laughs> how is that, oh, got it, I was just gonna say, how is that possible? Hey, so that one's right. I'm so close. There's so little pieces left. No. Mm -hmm. Do I have a very similar one? Oh my god. Look at that. This is almost identical. Holy shit. This is a better fit. My god. Okay, what was the other one that was a maybe? Ah, now it fits. That almost snuck in there. And this one doesn't fit. So here we are. Do we have one? This is a... Yeah, fairly wide one. Okay, it's all coming together. We're nearly there! Oh, so excited! Aha! Uh -huh. Yes. 
No. Okay, so this is all still wrong. Let's just take all of these off, because these are not correct anyway. Okay, let's do that. Okay, let's see. Let's start with gaps. That one. Yes. Yes. And then the right side. Yes. 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 Okay. Oh, progress. Oh my god. Haha, <laughs> the last one. Okay, Audi time. Ho 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 ho. Oh, last corner. Oh no, wait, there's still a bit here, under here as well. Turns out I'm missing like 15 pieces or something. <laughs> Puzzles take really long and they're really hard to do, but I do think they make me a better puzzler, if that makes sense. Makes me focus more- the fact that it's all one color forces me to focus more on shape and how that works. Um. Oh my god! Okay. This one? <gasps> okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's just this bit left. I don't need the board anymore! Oh my god, look at this! In all its glory! Oh my god! I'm almost released from prison. Puzzle prison. Thank you. And it all works out. Oh my god, this was such a hard puzzle. I wonder what my time was. I didn't record all of it, so I don't know, but... I think all of this was wrong. All of these edge pieces were wrong. Sections here were wrong, here and here. So much of it was wrong. It looks so cool though, this artwork. I would frame this. Like, I wonder if I can maybe buy a poster. Death on board. Artwork by Hutch. Hutchpiece.co.uk So yeah, if you want this puzzle for yourself, it's on Puzzle Board. Uh, but be warned, it was very difficult. <laughs> the artwork is awesome, but it's very difficult. I think I'll go to Hutch Piece, uh, Hutch's website and see if I can buy a poster version, because that would be awesome. This was the start of the puzzle channel. Thank you, Hutch. It was awesome. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It took me so long, but I'm glad I did it. We'll definitely do a thousand pieces as well. These just came which I think will be very fun. These are murder mystery puzzles. There's like a little story I think we read and then we make the puzzle and then we have to solve the murder together. We could also do escape room board games together. I could do Legos sometimes if I feel like it. I think I have a Lego set. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and welcome to Goobus. That's it.